Exact. Exacts. That's right. Matthew Libertor. Libertor. Is that how you say that? I have no idea. I just call him. I call Yo, him let's Matt go, Matt. Exacts. North Cal. <laughs> Yo, Exacts taught the, my first like two weeks playing this game. I was a melee player who didn't know s anything. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he kind of put me under his wing for a little bit because you know we're both thinking players. And uh, yeah, gave me you know, bounce, bounce some. You know, I actually yeah. used to talk a lot about small, playing. small story. Exact. Yeah. Back when I was back before I hung up my controller and said, you know what, I'm no longer going to be focused on being a player. A commentator. This, the, yes, and I want to be focused on being a commentator. Uh huh. Uh, uh huh. He would give me lessons. Yeah. Yeah. He taught me a lot of things about Smash 4. This is back when he lived in SoCal, I'm assuming? Yes, back when he lived at the Sky House. Uh huh. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Yeah, I, I, I've, great I've teacher. always. Great teacher. Absolutely. Yeah, he knows a lot. I feel like he knows a lot, and he's like. He's, um. He's good at the theory, I feel like. He, like, uh, every time I watch him, he's, like, experimenting with some new little thing. Um, and I'm able to appreciate it a little bit more now, obviously, because we play the same character. But, uh. Yeah, like, um. Yeah, no, seriously, I, I wouldn't call him like a lab monster. Like he's not really like super, but he's very creative. He is, and I really is. appreciate that about his play. It's almost off. like he can see the links between moves and say like, you know, I think this works into this. Yeah, and then that's how he'll start to theory craft everything for sure. But good dash dancing. Oh, not able to get the up throw into the up air. You know, Dude, but whatever. Um, yeah, dupe. Yes, and then. Yeah, this first off. Oh, Ooh. he gets the forward smash. No, but, you know. He's, yeah, wow. He did not have to get hit by that. I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure he could have just neutral air dodge neutral and then up E after. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of ways to get around that. Okay. Uh, probably should have pummeled him a little bit. Probably should have I mean, You can get so many pummels at 150. Then it might have killed. Samus' forward was, like, actually a deceptively huge hitbox in this game. Was he going for a pivot grab there? I think that was a... That might have been snapback. Might have been snapback, yeah. I'm going to blame snapback. Well, uh, you know, you can see Nezmod God with top-notch controllers right outside that door, <laughs> XX, when you're done with the set. <laughs> and he will get that fixed right up for you. Okay. Throwing out the roller, but you know what? Doof is ready for the roller. He's staying in the air quite a bit. Yeah. Unless XX gets within a certain distance of him, that's when he's going to be grounded. Right. Okay, okay, catching him coming off the ledge. There's the simple back air. He's doing a decent job right now, keeping it, uh, you know, keeping it close. Okay, here we go. Up throw up air. We're going to get some damage off this. He Even getting up. the platform extension. Yeah, you saw he went for actually descending up air, which is, like, kind of creative stuff, because, you know, theoretically, you could land, get the single hit up air, maybe go for some, like, janky follow-ups. Mm -hmm. Not a true combo, but, you know, it's slick, right? Right, right. Getting the double back air right there. Mm -hmm. Now, Duke landing back oh. on the ground. And this is definitely up there. Yeah, that's like big. The thing about Inkling's up throw up air is like the heavier the opponent is, like the wider the kill window range is. Oh, okay. So like against a character like Samus, man, it's like it's very, very easy. <laughs> it's like there's like a 20% window at least. Wow, that's actually really big. That's huge. Yeah, it's it's super important. It's, uh, okay, yeah, and, and you know, XX kind of running away with it at this point. Like, you know, he had trouble to take that first stock, but kind of the thing about Inkling, like if you're, the way to beat Inkling is to like exploit the fact that they can't kill, right? But if they get that up the upper kill or that roller kill, then they could just kind of start like snowballing the game. And right now, you know, Duke's just kind of looking for a hit, but Xax is almost at, uh, it's almost about to lap him. Yeah, and you know, the more I'm thinking about like the beginning of this game, the more I'm starting to think that, you know, Xax, while he did was in fact, you know, uh, behind, in the first half of this game, you know, he may have just been downloading Duke. Because as you can see, Duke has not been able to put on any percent in quite some time. Yeah, it hasn't felt like he's at sea. It's just, oh, it doesn't matter how much rage you got. Against heavy characters, it's so easy. Oh my god. Well, yeah. XX able to take game one over Duke. Mm -hmm. You know what I respect about XX? Here's what? the thing I respect. What do you respect? He plays Guy Inkling. He said, I play not, every not other girl every thing. other Inkling player, I, me, myself included, you know, plays girl Inkling, you know, because, like, I don't know what it is. It just, it just feels right. Yeah, but I feel yeah. like XX is a male Inkling main till the day he dies. And what's more, he plays light blue Inkling who dresses exactly like you days. That, that makes sense. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I respect it. I, I mean, wanna, I feel like I XX like would that. dress like that if he could. If he could, if he could, <laughs> if he could. Today, you know, he's watching the and, and Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is hipster Inkling, <laughs> right? Okay, cool. Oh, he went for the jab extension off the, off the uh, yeah, he's going to be able to up air lip, land on the top platform. 
Now, how do you feel about this stage like from Duke? I always feel like Inkling actually performed very well just because of all the platforms and just can be able to tramp you, trap you heavily on those platforms. Yeah. No, I... This is questionable. I definitely take people to either here or Smashville. Um... Yeah, this is, I, I don't know. I, yeah, okay, there's there's the aspect to it where, like, yes, the, the side platforms do allow you some opportunity to kind of hide under them. If you're a projectile character, you can, like, kind of, like, you know, it's hard to approach people that are under a platform, right? In right, general. right, right, yeah, you have that ceiling. You have that ceiling, but at the same time, man, the combos are so good. Like this is, they really are. So, wow. Okay, well, using this charge shot, but you know what, that actually worked out pretty well for Duke. We didn't exactly hit exact, but they put him in enough shield stuns to make him... Uh, allow him to recover. That's right, that's right. Exactly, they're missing the double jump on the echo up there. But he can exploit the recovery here. Oh, whiffing the back air, and that's what you need to land. That definitely would have been the first stock. The back throw, and okay, let's try it once again. Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That was actually like uh, kind of a sketch recovery from Duke <laughs> here. Yeah, if he gets it. Mm, I'd like to see him pummel just a little bit. I feel like he could get him a percent where it's a guaranteed kill. I mean, but, sometimes uh, it's good to throw out the quick throw because you can like catch your opponent off guard and they're not going to be DI correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, no, you're totally right. It's like a, it's a dealer's choice for sure. It is. Yeah, good way of putting it. <laughs> I like that. Dealer's choice. And there's your bubbles. <laughs> oh wow! The blast zones on yeah. battlefield. Pretty big. Pretty big. And he was like kind of mid stage at that point. He wasn't near the ledge. It makes a huge difference. There's the run off the platform forwarder. Oh, that forward air from X from England is so good. It really is, yeah. Oh, I almost I don't see that happen that much when you get that uh what do they call that? Like trip state from No, what's he no, doing? What where are you going? That? Duke, where are you going? So unfortunate. I don't feel like Duke was ready for that ledge trap. Let's jump. Yeah, I don't know. It's kinda of, it's kinda of strange. Very strange Jeez. indeed. Exact's really running away with this game too. You know what the crazy part is? He hasn't even thrown on any new rollers. Like uh, the roller hasn't even been like a huge part of his strategy. That's true. We saw it a little bit in game one, but I think like at this point he knows what Duke is having trouble with. Yeah. And he's just like you know oh. putting him in the same position over and over and over. Right. There's your roller. Putting a little bit of ink on the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. Trying to yep covering some options with the splat bomb. A lot of damage off the rapid jab. Does I don't think he has a second jump. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just you, you start the roller up. And you're like, you know, what, I'm gonna keep going. They might run into it. <laughs> like they shouldn't, but they might. And that's what that was. Ah, there it is. Ah, oh, get, you're getting a little bit of charge. You know, paint them up a bit. Yeah, Exax painting the town light blue. Scars Exax moving along on the winner's side. Congratulations to Scars Exax. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we get to see him again later on uh, today. Yep.